Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. So where is we united in Christ? We come out here to teach so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. So why is it that our people, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, don't know that you're Israelites? And it's in your Bible. In the same Bible you have at home, on your countertop, in your cars, in your churches. Why is it that our people don't know who we are? Hey brother, you got a minute? I'm bringing out your history according to the Bible. Why do our people don't know this? Give me the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Watch this. The Bible predicts why our people are totally clueless as to who they are according to the Bible. That's why when a lot of our people read the Bible, they get discouraged about reading the Bible because they don't understand what they're reading. Because they can't connect to the Bible. Watch this. Read. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. You see that? The Bible predicted that our people, his people, the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, will forget their heritage. Read that again. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people, the Bible says my people, that's a personal pronoun. The Bible says my people, that's talking about you, the so-called black man, Hispanic man, and Native American. Read. Are destroyed. Are uh, what? Are destroyed. Why is our people destroyed? The Bible's going to clearly speak for itself and explain why our people are destroyed. Not physically, but mentally we are destroyed because we don't know our heritage. Hey, bro, let me ask you a question. You got a minute? See what I'm saying? So our people are already destroyed mentally because we don't know who we are. Read. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. A lack of what? Of knowledge. So now we read knowledge in the Bible, we assume that knowledge is talking about your education. We believe that uh, knowledge is talking about what you acquired from the universities. But that's not what the Bible is talking about. Knowledge is talking about something God gave us as a people. As a chosen people, God gave us his knowledge. Let's find out what his knowledge is. Give me that in Malachi 2.7. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2, verse 7. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law. The what? They shall seek the law. This is what our people forgot. This is what our people have forgotten, forgotten about God's laws. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? What's your name? Jamar? I'm Jeremiah. These are two sons? Yeah. Oh, crazy. It's good looking boys there, man. Let me ask you a question real quick. You got a minute? Not really. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you know your nationality? What's your nationality, Jamal? You Israelite? All right, good. So where'd you learn that from? Where'd you learn? Hey, let's get a flyer, bro. Come and get a flyer. All right, read that. Keep read. Read it again. For the priest's lips shall keep knowledge, and they shall seek the law at his mouth. And they should seek the law out of his mouth. Go back to uh, go back to uh, 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 Hosea 4, 6. So this is what our people forgot. They forgot God's laws. Read that. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So that's why we destroy it as a people, because we forgot God's laws. God's laws that no longer exist in our communities. God's laws don't exist in our homes. God's laws don't exist in our personal lives. This is why there's so much turmoil, confusion, and destruction in our communities. We have to come back to God's laws so that way we can reclaim our rightful place that God has put us to in the beginning. Right. Keep reading. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. You see that? Our people rejected God's knowledge. We get our people walking past the camp every day we out here. To bring the truth to our people, to bring them back to God's laws and the faith in Christ. Every day we out here trying to preach God's word to our people. What happened? They keep walking. They say, I don't need it. 
I don't want it. I'm good. I'm fine. And they keep walking. But if we was if we was chucking and dancing and singing over here, we have a whole crowd of people over here. But we bringing out God's laws, and our people ain't got time for God. Read what it says again. Reject. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou has rejected knowledge. They have rejected God's laws. Keep reading. I will also reject thee. What did the most I say? I will also reject thee. So that's why when you see things happening in our neighborhoods, the first thing you ask is, why did that happen? Why did God let that happen? God's telling you why he let it happen. Because you rejected him. You just can't have faith in Christ and, not, and just omit his laws. The Bible says you have to keep his laws and the faith in Christ. You can't have one without the other. So if we had God's laws, a lot of the crime you see in our community wouldn't even exist. Because we'll see each other as our brothers and our sisters, not as niggas. We will see our sisters as hoes. We will see, we'll see our sisters as queens. And we'll give them respect as a queen. And we'll treat our brother with respect as a king. Read that again. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So the most high said he gonna reject us, his people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He said he was gonna reject us because he rejected his laws. Keep reading. That thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. You see that? Yeah, we have forgotten the laws of our, thy God. Give me that Jeremiah 17:4. Because the most the Bible explains to all our people what's going on around us every day. We don't have to scratch our heads and wonder what the hell is happening. Bring it up. Just pick up the Bible and read. But you need the right interpretation. You need to know what you're reading. First of all, you need to know who you are and understand why these laws and why these curses are upon us. Hold that. Give me that Daniel. Uh, give me that Daniel 11, 9, 11. You have to understand why these curses are upon us. Because we are under a curse right now. That's why we're going through what we're going through. Hey, all my people over there on the bus stop, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you, my sister in the yellow top, my brother in the red top, my brother, my brother with the backpack. I'm talking to you. The Bible's speaking to you. Listen to this. Watch this. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 11. Yea, all Israel have... All who? All Israel have transgressed it, thy law. The Bible says all Israel has transgressed God's laws. What we just read about earlier in Malachi 2.7, that we rejected his law. We, re we transgressed against his law, meaning we broke it, and also we have forgotten his laws, rejected his laws. Read. Even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. You see that? We had a big problem with obeying. One of our problems is we don't obey. How you doing, my brother? What's your name? You from Shadow Simeon? All praises. All praises to the Most High. So you are so-called Dominican Republic. All right, all praises, brother. So you know your nationality, right? So now with that, knowing who you are, that's not, it don't stop right there. You understand that, right? There's more laws that God has ordained for you to keep now that you know you're Israel. Because you know the old saying is, when you know better, you're supposed to what? Do better. All right, so now, because you know you Israel, watch this, give me that in uh, Deuteronomy uh, 10, 12. You gotta do better. Just to know you Israel, okay, that's good, you know your nationality, that's a good big step. But now we have to start keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments. Watch this, and your name is what now? Who? Frederick. 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 All right, read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what do if the Lord thy God require of thee? Uh, hey, another bus will come, bro. Your bus will keep going all. Hey, this is this is important, bro. Another bus will come. Check it out. Because you know, I'm going to tell you something. The devil don't want you to get this truth, bro. He don't want you to get this truth. The bus going to come again. Don't worry about that. No, it's it's going to come again. Watch this. Read again. And now, Israel, what do if the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. You got to fear the Lord thy God. Pay attention now, Frederick. To walk in all his ways. You got to walk in all his ways. Walk in all his ways. You know, what's, what's God's ways? Love. What's God's way? No, it ain't just love. What else? You tell me. Give me that 18. Give me that Exodus 18, 20. I'm going to show you what the Bible said what the way is. Okay? Uh, see, this is why you need to come and look closer, bro. Come and look closer. I'm going to show you what the Bible says what the way is. All right? Great. 18 20. Exodus 18 20. This is, this is the book. Of Exodus chapter 18, verse 20. And you, you see that? 
See that? That's the most high one you get this truth, bro. Another bus of calm. Don't get, don't get vexed over that. Don't get vexed over that, bro. Another bus of calm, all right? Who knows? That bus may go right to another incident. It can be a shooting at that bus. Who knows? Only God knows. But you're here getting God's word. So you're doing the right thing. Read that again. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 18, verse 20. And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws. And what? And laws. So the way is what? And thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws. And shall show them the way wherein they must walk. You see that? So the way is what? Teaching what? The what? The law. Exactly. Now go back to Deuteronomy. So the, so the way is the law. All right? Check it out. It's going to connect. Watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. I'm sorry. I'm quite tall. I messed up. This is so, so the way is the law. So, you, so knowing you Israel, now you have to start keeping the laws. Thus says the Lord. You understand? Watch this, Frederick. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, no, no, Patrick, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, God, to walk in all his ways. So to walk in all his ways is to walk into what? You just said it earlier. To walk in his way is keeping what? The laws. Read. And to love him uh -huh. and, love. To, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day. This very same day, Frederick, he's commanding this commandment the same, the very same day. Now, we're going to bring out some commandments. Because one thing, you got your beard. I see that. Did you know that was in the Bible? That you got to keep your beard. You didn't know that. All right, we're going to bring that out to you, too. Also, you see all the brothers around the camp. You see the fringes? That's a commandment. And it's the reason why the Most High commanded us to keep these fringes. Give me beard first, and then we're going to go into fringes. So this is why the Most High gave us these commandments. So we are a peculiar people. We are set apart from all the other nations. There's 18 nations on the planet. But God said we is the chosen people. We is peculiar people. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So the scripture also makes, states that we can't bald our head. I mean, literally taking a razor and shaving your head bald like Michael Jordan. If it grows bald naturally like mine does, that's good. That's okay. That's clean. All right? But when you perfectly shave it off, that's against God's laws. Watch that camera. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Can hey, you get a flyer, Frederick? All right, give us a call, man, all right? Keep reading. Nor make any cuttings in their flesh. You see, that's what that means. That goes into not having tattoos as well. That goes into not having tattoos as well. Give me that in, uh, give me numbers, 15. We're going to bring fringes out for those, who, who, those who's listening. Hey, I see you over there, my brother, leaning against the car. I see you over there. This is for you. You got you to gotta keep your beard. You got to keep God's laws, knowing you're Israel. And you also got to put on some fringes. Watch this. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to who? Unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. You hear that, sis, in the car, in the red car? That means you are a Israelite, sis. Did you know that? Did you know you're an Israelite? But, but, you, but you are. On that flight, it'll show you what you're an Israelite. And you is like me, you God's chosen people. You got to keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments, and the faith in Christ. Give us a call. All right, keep reading. And that they put upon the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. So not only do we have to wear fringes, but the Most High tells us how to put the fringes on our garments. You just can't slap it all together. You know, Most High does things in decency and order. So he's telling us how to put the fringe and the ribbon of blue on the garment. Read again. And there, throughout their generation, and that they put up on the fringe of the border a ribbon of blue. How you doing, officer? Doing okay? Good, good. You are you an Israelite, officer? You God's chosen people. You an Israelite. All right? Keep reading. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord. You see that? He even tell us why we should have these fringes on. 
that we have to look upon it and remember. Read that again. That you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. And what? And do them. So we just can't know the commandments. We actually have to do them. Keep reading. That's right. And that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye used to go whoring. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.